Wayne Tebow is an American artist from Arizona. He started his career as a graphic designer and cartoonist and then started to draw more objects that you would see in everyday life. He painted a lot of pastries such as cakes and making them appear real by putting thick paint on his canvases with a paint knife where it almost looks just like the frosting or icing. Another thing you'll notice is that he shows different sides of his art or of the object to make it appear 3D. The shading and shadows that he uses also helps the object appear real, like we can just pick it up. Our project is going to be based off of these ice cream cones with faces. I used colored pencils. You can use crayons, colored pencils, paint, it's all up to you. For my project, I chose to use colored pencils and create mint chocolate chip and strawberry ice cream. Looking at Wayne Tebow's ice cream, we're first going to start it. Your paper can be horizontal and landscape style or vertical if you want taller cones and portrait style. I'm going to go landscape, landscape style for now. Now to start our cones, if I have one cone kind of angled, it's like you're making about halfway up on the paper, a big letter A, but curve at the top and come down. And then maybe my other one is over here. So I start about in the middle of the paper, I go up, 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 like a letter A, curve down and out. I wanna have some space in between there, so then I have enough room for a big scoop of ice cream. On this one, go ahead and make a smiley face. Same here. That makes it look more like a cone than a triangle, since a triangle is 2D or flat and a cone is 3D. For your ice cream, have two curved lines coming down. And then if they're on the table, they're not gonna be round at the bottom. We're gonna have kind of a wavy line. Maybe yours are melting a little bit more than mine. It's all up to you. And I have this one curve curve, kind of a crazy wavy line. And then Wayne T. Bod on his painting, he put some faces on his. So you can have your ice cream looking whatever direction you want. I'm going to do it like his was and have an eye, maybe they're chocolate sprinkles, and the nose, and kind of a smiley. I'm going to add some lines here to show that this is where the scoop was and then it comes out. The, this ice cream, like Wayne Teabods, and then we're gonna have some lines show. Oh, I made mine real big. I'm gonna trim it a little bit. Didn't realize that. Maybe it was just a huge scoop of ice cream. For your cones, cones aren't usually flat and smooth, not the waffle cones at least. So we need to make all of those crisscross lines. So I start by making curved lines or smiley faces coming up to show that this is round. If I would use straight lines, it would make it look a little flat. Then, we're going to make some frowny faces coming the other way. Actually, no, don't do that. Then, instead of starting on this side, we're gonna come onto your cone and kind of do diagonal curve lines. Same thing on this side. Kind of doing diagonal curve lines this way. And then diagonal curve lines this way. All right, now these will probably not be floating. So we need to make them on a table. And how we're going to do that is not put my table down here because then it would kind of look like they're floating and not smushed. So remember, we always put the table up a little bit. 
Once you hit your ice cream, jump over it, make a line, jump over it, make a line. Now it's time to add your color. Think about what flavor you want your ice cream cones and we'll go from there. Remember in Wayne Teabod's ice cream cones, he didn't use just one color. So this is kind of yellowy for my cone. I should probably add some more brown and I need to show where my shadow is. Let me sharpen that. So start to decide where you want the light hitting your project. And get a darker shade or darker crayon. Sorry. I'm going to have the light hitting mine coming this way. So that means this side of my cone is lighter and this side is darker. So I'm going to press harder on this side of my cone. To show that shadow and to make it pop out a little more. So what I do on one cone, I do on the other. And actually, I'm going to get even a darker brown to go darker. If you like the way yours is looking, then keep it how it is. I think I pressed harder on this cone than I did on that one. Let's see, do I have a darker brown? Yeah, and I can press harder to make it even darker. Your choice, however you want this to look. I wish I didn't do that. I was experimenting, which it's always fun to do in art. We learn by making mistakes sometimes. What do you think my ice cream should be? What flavors? I'm gonna do this one, mint chocolate chip. Let's test this out, make sure it's not too bad of a green. Uh, that might be okay. It might be a little bright. Let's try this one out. Wonder if I mix them like Wayne Teabod was known for. Oh, I think that's a winner. Oops. So if your color looks too bright or too dull, all you have to do is start to mix your colors and experiment. Just like how I did on the back of my paper or on a separate paper, I can experiment with these colors on mixing because that gives it more what I like to call dimension to make it look more real. You know, be careful, go around my nose, that cherry. Let me mix my other color. I'm going to start pressing harder with this color where I think the shadow would be. So remember, the shadow is on this side. There's probably a shadow right under my cone. So it's all about pressing lighter or darker. And I can even get a darker green. Oh, there will probably be a shadow under that cherry and around my eyes. So I keep going back and forth between my colors just to try it out. 
Mm. Let's see this one. <laughs> All right, my eyeballs. Maybe they're chocolate sprinkles. And then my nose, I'm going to have be a cherry. Whoops, that broke. I always have to read them because that's a, it looks like red, but it comes out a little orange. There's a red. So with my nose, I'm going to leave a little bit white, so that way it looks like the light's on it once again. Let me zoom in for this. I'm going to get some brown or a darker red to add the shadow. Hmm, I kind of wish this would have blended a little bit better, so I'm going to go back, color it lightly. Oh, I said it was mint chocolate chip. Where's my chocolate chips? A little chocolate chip here. And I'm adding more shadow with that brown. If I would use black with my green, it might look a little too crazy. Or too dark, sorry, not crazy. Kind of looks like it's freckles. All right. So you choose your colors. Maybe you want yours to be strawberry, but I'm going to speed up myself making this while you're working on yours. And then you can tune back in whenever I do the table. So I'm going to have mine be, let's do strawberry. and my ground colored. I want to point out the reason I chose blue and orange was because I haven't really used blue yet on my paper. Same with orange. I do kind of wish I flip-flopped them because my cones are kind of warmer colors and I think having the orange at the bottom and the blue at the top would have looked nice. But it's okay. Now it's almost done. We just need to put the shadow on the table. Because if anything is 3D or real, it has a shadow, right? So I colored that in with this same color blue. I'm pressing harder with this blue on this side of my ice cream cone because that's the side the shadow is on. So I press harder. probably goes back here a little bit and then right under my ice cream I'm gonna add a shadow but not on this side because there's not a shadow over there if the lights hitting it at least for this cone if that blue looks too light for you I can grab black or a darker blue once I find it and I can add a darker blue over here so you see more of that shadow. And I, I mean, this is pretty tall, so my shadow is gonna go the whole way off of the paper. All right, this ice cream cone, that same blue, and if my light's coming from this way, my shadow is going to be over here. It kind of goes back off the table or behind this first ice cream.
If you want, you can add some shadow under your ice cream where it's on the table. Gonna get that darker blue once again. And I think I could add more of a shadow on this ice cream. It was looking too plain and too flat. I hope you guys enjoy this one. You are amazing artists and I cannot wait to see the finished products.